demo shows how our image stabilization, the analog power driver approach works. A few different frequencies and how the image is being stabilized with a very inexpensive part. Driven the actual lens itself instead of the microprocessor based, very complicated where the software has to change from phone to phone. That's one of the reasons for our advantage. The ease of our device and how easy it can be implemented into a design instead of doing six to nine months development work with software that could then have to be integrated into the hardware, you can design this in less than a month by just creating our driver, putting it on a board, and integrating it with the motor. Closing a loop around that. It works like a charm, very easy. Our competition primarily is a software driven and microprocessor based. So it's a, extremely expensive right off the bat. And that's one of the reasons why our part is being very successful in the phones that are not just inexpensive, but also very expensive like the uh, Sony Xperia, for example, or some of the uh, expensive phones that are coming from Korean makers this day and age. You can see that our demo shows the difference in the frequencies because ev everyone's hands would shake in a different, in a different frequency range, and we can actually that's adjusted at the different frequencies and can be set from one hertz of a shake to let's say ten hertz of a shake. So that's a big variation that we can actually work with. Ideal for uh, digital cameras, video cameras, cameras in the cell phones, and anything that has a lens. So some of the security cameras are also looking for devices like that if they can stabilize their lens during transition period from let's say when they either panning or tilting or zooming that will remove all the uh, necessary vibration from the device first of all the part itself is is very small even though it's a even though it's a bridge it's a bridge full H bridge driver and the, uh, the the beauty of the part it has a very quick start time and it has a very quick braking time so the part doesn't have to uh, run and settle in, let's say, a few milliseconds. It does it in uh, microseconds, if not less. So you don't really have to have any settling time involved. The picture comes out as clear as you see it. And, and as you're taking it, there is no delay. 